Time to take another quick break from football. I know it's what you all want to hear. I mean, football is the new America's pastime, if I may. But, even though I didn't think I would be doing this for quite a while, I have to comment on the Seattle Supersonics and the Seattle Mariners, because in the last week, two major things have happened to both franchises, and I feel the need to comment because they're my teams. I don't watch them as much as the Seahawks. I don't support them as much, but they're my teams. I root for them. I do support them. I do watch them. <clears throat> so first, first thing that happened in the last couple days, NBA draft. Sonics, as I said a couple weeks ago, landed the number two pick in the draft, and I made a vi uh, an audio entry about a week or two ago saying I wanted Kevin Durant. And we did get Kevin Durant. Portland took Greg Oden, just as I had hoped. I do think Oden is a better player than Durant, but I did not want Oden. I think we've got enough big guys right now. I'd rather wait for one of them to pan out. Or maybe even hope for one of them to pan out. Maybe it's just wishful thinking at this point. But it's all moot because we did not have the choice. Uh, so we got Durant at number two overall. Very exciting player. Um, hopefully he can be what, like, Gary Payton was to this franchise a decade ago, because I miss those days, uh, the 90s Sonic, so much fun. Miss that, man. But, <clears throat> we were not done. We traded Ray Allen and a couple of other players who weren't particularly anything special for, to Boston for the fifth pick in the draft, and I went wild when this happened, because, you know... I liked Ray. I think he was a well-spoken guy, well, voca good vocation. Unlike Peyton, that was my knock against Peyton. As much as I liked him as a player, he seemed kind of a, I don't know, low class. I don't know. But he was like 32. He has bad ankles. He's the best perimeter shooter in the game today, probably at least of the pure perimeter shooters. You know, maybe not the best, but he's one of the best. So I'm sad to see him go, but we had to take this opportunity because he's getting old and he's injury prone. So we move up to the top, to the fifth pick in the draft, um, and took Green. Uh, I can't remember where he played college. I don't know a lot about him, to be honest, because I don't watch college basketball very much at all. But... You know, some people are saying it was a good trade because we get rid of old guys and a couple of pretty worthless guys for the fifth pick in the draft, but we should have taken someone else, like, what's his name, Ye something? There are a couple other guys that we could have taken there. Now, I know um, Green's a shooting guard, which is the same position Durant plays, but I'm sure we've got something planned there, so landmark day in Seattle Supersonics history. Two top five picks... Uh, the we trade away our old su our old superstar. Uh, got a new face of the franchise, a new one-two punch for the next decade, and I'm excited. I'm not gonna lie. I can't guarantee anything, but seeing these two young guys um, step onto the field for the SuperSonics um, come October, I'm gonna be watching some games. I'm gonna be watching a little more than usual. Um, and that's not because I'm fair weather, because I don't think the team is going to be any good this year. I just can't wait to see these new kids in Super... I can't wait to see these kids in Supersonic Green. <laughs> um, and, you know, ten years from now, whether or not... Whether we're stinking up the bottom of our division, or we're holding, you know, two or three NBA Finals trophies... You know, whichever way we go, it'll all come back to this day when we traded for two top five players in the draft. And so, big day. Um, you know, probably the biggest day since we took Peyton, number two overall, a while ago. Or maybe even Kemp, I think it was number two overall. My memory's not so good. But, anyway... I'm excited. Even if we move to Oklahoma, I don't care about that. I'll still root for the team. It sucks that they leave the city and leave us with just two professional sports teams, but it is what it is. There's nothing I can do. Okay. Enough about the Sonics. Very excited about that. Now for the Mariners. 
you know, we're doing good. Right now we're 12 games over 500, uh, 46 and 34, I think it is. 45 and 30, 45 and 33. Uh, doing so good. Seven game winning streak. Now it's eight, actually. You know, we're pitching well, we're hitting well, and then our manager just drops his bombshell out of nowhere that he's gonna resign. He's lost his fire or something, you know. I don't, I don't hate him for it. If he's out of fire, if he's out of passion for the game, he should leave. I'm not gonna suggest that he should have made himself stay or something like that, but it's a damn shame because I don't think he was a great manager, but he was a good manager, and he knew how to manage a bullpen, and this was the first year in quite a few years we've had some serious success. This has been our best year since 2001, in all likelihood, so we're finally getting some success with the guy, and he decides to leave, so... Very disappointing. However, if our franchise decides to pursue Joe Girardi, good manager um, of the formerly of the Florida Marlins, all would be forgiven. I've wanted Girardi for a little while now, but I thought we would have to stick it out with Hargrove for a good couple of years. But now that that hasn't panned out, we might as well go ahead have a look at Girardi. I know he's a hot item right now. But we got to take a shot because we need a manager. I don't trust this guy they're bringing in because when you fire a coach midseason or a coach quits and they bring in the assistant or whatever, I've never seen that work. Maybe it has, but I don't like um, I don't like having to do that. And we're doing good right now. I don't want to mess with that mojo. You know, we've got a good thing flowing, and now. It's all been just kind of upset. But, got to move on. Uh, you know, chasing the Angels in the division, chasing the Tigers in the wild card, I think it is. Just a game or two back. I'm not going to raise my expectations. I still think that if we were to finish 500 or higher, I would be happy. I'm not going to start talking about playoffs quite yet. But, um... Back in, in the back of my head, I'm thinking this team is good enough to do something. And if we get into the postseason with a wild card, we'd face Boston. And we've been beating Boston this year. But let's not talk about that <sighs> too early. Got to wait until at least after the All-Star break. Which, by the way, congratulations to Ichiro Suzuki and J.J. Putz to go to, for going to the All-Star game. Especially J.J. Putz, because he, this is his first time. So, he's been lights out for us this year, and he's finally getting attention because the team is also doing good. So, good for them. Hopefully, we can find a way to get through this. Um, come on, Girardi. Come up to Seattle. We're waiting for you. Uh, okay. That's about all I got to say. I probably won't be doing in many baseball or basketball videos, but I just couldn't help myself this time around. So, peace. I'm out.